This section demonstrates the application of a 1728 to 1728 OFS rollable ribbon cable with a shallow slack basket. Place the hinge bracket on top of the slack basket spacer. Pull the hinge bracket towards the end of the organizer until it snaps into place. Install a prepared splice tray into the hinge bracket by squeezing the legs on the splice tray together and inserting the legs into the hinge bracket. Cables with non-pliable subunits must be broken out before rotting to the tray. Mark the tube to be opened 17 inches from the sheath opening. Make an additional mark 2 inches from this mark. This will be used to secure the subunit to the splice tray. Ring cut and open the subunit at the 17 inch mark. Slide the colored braided sleeving over the tube. Tape the braided sleeving onto the subunit using vinyl tape. Repeat this process for the other end of the subunit. Secure the subunit to the splice tray using tie wraps. Route the fibers to be spliced into the slack storage of the deprofile profile splice tray. The deprofile profile splice tray can be used to splice both flat and collapsible ribbon fiber. When splicing 288 count in the deprofile profile tray, a splice platform needs to be installed. Install the platform into the tray by inserting the top of the platform into the rounded edge of the splice tray. Press down on the legs of the platform to secure it into the splice tray. Install the splice tray cover onto the splice tray by pressing it into the six cover retention tabs located on the perimeter of the tray. Add an additional splice tray by installing the hinge bracket onto the existing hinge bracket. Install a prepared thin profile tray into the hinge bracket. Thin profile splice trays can only be used for collapsible ribbon fiber. Repeat these steps for additional non-pliable subunits and splice trays. Route the slack storage in the 288 count thin profile tray as shown. To splice single and mass fusion in the same tray, the thin profile nine position tray must be used. To install the single fusion splice blocks in this tray, insert the two small legs into the guide rib at the top. Press on the bottom of the splice block to fully seat it. Route the slack storage and the nine position tray as shown. The nine position thin profile tray can only be used for collapsible ribbon fiber or single fibers. To secure the hinge brackets, use the lock pin. The pin has numbers on each side to represent the number of thin or deep profile splice trays in the organizer. Determine the number of splice trays in the organizer and trim the lock pin at the notch. Install the lock pin into the hinge bracket pocket. Secure the splice trays with the hold down strap. 